Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about missing a person, Jolissa Fuentes. And Jolissa is 22. She went missing on August 7th in Selma, California. So what's interesting about Jolissa's case is we do have footage of her at a convenience store. So she was seen on surveillance at 4 a.m. at a convenience store in Selma, California. And they say on the surveillance, which I'll try to include here, she's seen getting out of her car to go into the convenience store. She's seen buying a cigar. And then she's seen getting back into her car. And her car is a silver 2011 Hyundai Accent. Now, the strange thing is that she went the opposite way to where she should be going. Because apparently she lives with her grandmother. And instead of driving towards the grandmother's house, she went the other way. So they tried to um, see if she had any social media activity or any banking activity since she's been gone and she hasn't. Also, they were trying to find out where her cell phone last pinged and they were able to locate where that is. So the police recently said they were going to turn it into a criminal investigation because it's unlike her to go missing and not tell her family where she is. And I would say it's really unusual probably if, especially if she's supposed to be going back to where she lives and she doesn't show up. Um, now... A lot of people have said something like maybe she was kidnapped or she um, came across foul play. I find it very interesting the way she opens her door after she bought the cigar. She almost opens it like someone who's angry or someone who is drunk it's like a um, hastefully way to open your door like in a kind of a sloppy way too and it seems to me that she's mad or she's intoxicated or something so then later on she was last seen at four But she did try to call her sister. She tried calling her sister at 5.24 a.m. But her sister didn't pick up. So the mother tried to call um, her daughter the next day. And it went to voicemail right away. She wasn't answering anybody, and she missed work the next day. So, a little insight onto what happened right before. It said that on the night of August 6th, Jolissa attended a family gathering at a close friend's house. She headed to her grandmother's house, where both she and her brother Joey lived, about a minute from the gathering. Uh, When she came to her grandmother's house, she saw that her brother wasn't home. So she gave him a call at 3.30 a.m. She said, where are you at? And Joey, her brother, told Jalissa that he was in Fresno. And then she said, okay, I'm gonna run to the store real quick and I'll be back. So, I don't know. 
it's kind of odd. I don't know for her to be telling him she's going to the store. Like he's not even home. But maybe he asked what she was doing. I don't know. But I feel like whoever was at that family gathering might have some insight on what her demeanor was. On whether she was drinking. Because if she went to a family gathering and they were out until 3 a.m., you know, usually people up that late are drinking. And maybe she wasn't in her right state of mind. So she might have called her sister because she wasn't in the right state of mind. She was trying to get somebody to talk her down from possibly whatever state she was in. So I always like say what I personally feel about each case. And with this case, I get the feeling that she was drunk. She had some kind of news at this family gathering that she didn't like she was upset and she ended up um you know going to the store get a cigar i guess you know maybe she smokes a cigar to calm down and she disappears you know so i feel like she either drove into a body of water kind of like Kylie did whether it was on purpose or on accident or that she just drove and like got off the beaten path somewhere I don't know I just feel like I mainly feel like she's in a body of water I don't know why I just feel that um, I feel like otherwise they would have found her car by now because they've done a lot of searches. I also feel like if she was alive, she wouldn't be like ignoring her family and not getting back to them. Like, why would you want to make your grandmother like worry like this? Plus, she hasn't used any money or used her phone. Now, some people are saying maybe she was, like, kidnapped, but I feel like on the surveillance you can tell whether somebody got in her car or not, and I haven't heard that anybody was seen getting into her car. Now, it could be another theory that she went to meet someone after she got the cigar, And that that person is involved in her disappearance. So I would like to know, like, if she had a boyfriend, if she was dating anyone, if they had just broke up. And I'm not hearing any of that. Like, um, that's what I would want to know. But I'm sure the police know all this. But that's just me looking at it. While, um, just like what the media's information is. Now, they said that, um, they've done helicopter and ground searches. The ping of her phone was in the Pine Flat and Avocado Lake area. And that's 30 minutes away from the gas station. So they've been searching there. Um, The Adventures with Purpose has joined the search. And there's nothing that leads them to believe a criminal act has occurred, but they are treating it as a criminal matter. So I hope they find her. I know she's loved. She has um, a lot of family members that are worried about her. And I hope they find her alive. But she's 5'3". She has brown hair and brown eyes. She was wearing a white Nike tank top, gray shorts, and black Nike slides. 
and she had a black Michael Kors backpack with her. And so if you have information, I'll put the phone number on the screen. And hopefully we can find Jolissa Fuentes soon. And I hope that she is alive. Her family is so worried. I did see a video of her family. They were crying and searching for her. So thank you to all my subscribers. And I'll see you in the next one. Told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah.